why we have you here. <laughs> oh, okay. So, Sorry, I was just reading the squares on the board and the free parking looks like FFFFF fatality in low pixels. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh. if you ever do a Mortal Kombat board, it's a possibility. <laughs> it sends you back to square one and it's right. It, yeah. We can make it work. We can make it work. Um, so, guys, are we all ready to go? Yeah. 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 Deadly. Right. So, your qualifier for the Deus Ex board is this. What year is Deus Ex set in? <laughs> what year is it set in? So, again, your best guess is here, lads. 2100. 2100 for Aaron. Uh, 2005. 2005. And any other takers? 2040. 2040 for Bergbaugh. 2041. <laughs> 2041 for James, because he's a cunt. Uh, and Aiden, last but not least. 2052. 2052. Well, Aiden. Aiden. You were correct. Ooh. Spot on, baby. You are spot on. I love that he waited until the last one just to dunk on everyone else. That's that's super. That's great. Yeah. So, <laughs> very good. Uh, so that does so the so the round then uh, starts off with Aiden, obviously starting. James being a dick. Starts ahead of Burkbots. <laughs> <laughs> then we get a. Uh, then we get Dewey. Then Aaron. Actually, no, sorry. That's uh, Adam and then Aaron. The on the low balling and high balling uh, tactics there. So, yeah. so Aiden, this is your board. Start us off. Nice. <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> well, start as you mean to go on, Aiden. Uh, so, plus three sports. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so, your sport question for three points is Druids, Druids, and Hawthorne Hill are points on which motor racing circuit? Enough. I think this track is in Forza, so yeah, you should play that game. <laughs> Pass. I don't know. Uh, Brands Hatch. Brands Hatch from the UK. I would have never gotten that. <laughs> Again, if you played Forza, you would have. You totally would have. You would have. You would recognise Drew straight away. Is um, that a Formula One thing? It was. It was a Formula One thing, um, and then it got too dangerous. And um, so, uh, James, yep. you're up next. All right. And I got a. Three. Three. One, two, three. Plus three hits three. Right. Which you're quite proficient in, it seems, if someone is British. Oh, God. <laughs> so, uh, this, one's, uh, this one's going way back. Uh, way, way back. Uh, how many tribes of Israel were descended from Jacob's son? Thirteen. Oh, you're so um, close as well. Ah, son of a bitch. I'll give you one. That was very, very close. That was very, yeah. very good. Is this history or religion? Like I said in the last time, like the this bracket <laughs> is kind of like history, mythology, and religion all wrapped into one. This, this book was uh, published by the Pope. <laughs> <laughs> Have you never played the Pope's uh, pub quiz? It's fucking brilliant. It wasn't the 13th one Protestants, which we don't talk about. <laughs> the 13th Pope was a Protestant. <laughs> <laughs> well, wasn't they all been Jewish anyway? Yeah, exactly. Um, so, Birkbaugh, you're up next. Five. Sorry, she's putting the dog to bed. Three, four, five. You got a plus three science. This plus is like three. Mythology science now. So, so, so Burkbot, for plus three, what is classified by the Koppen system? Koppen. Koppen. K O P P E N. I feel like I, ha I know this and I like, but it's just kind of, I gloss over it now. Okay. 
It's not for it's not for metals. No, it is uh, for climate, for a different scale of climate. That's what the Coppin system is. So when you ever hear like thunder in Savannah, that's what that's based off. So uh, hard luck there. But you are leading at the moment. Uh, Dewey, you are up next. Three, three, one, two, three. We go back into the history books or Old Testament books, depending on what the question is. And um, so uh, let's see if you get this question right. In 1800s. Who became the first U.S. president to take a residence in the White House? Can I have a list of U.S. presidents in the 1800s? You cannot. Nice right up. Um, Douglas, someone. It wasn't Fred, it wasn't Douglas, no. Um, it was John Adams. John Adams. So hard up there. And um, Adam, welcome to the game. Welcome back oh, to the It's just so great to be here, Jonathan. That's a four. Love you too. One, two, three, four. You're on geography. Fuck. Quite. But this is a plus three. So let's see. <clears throat> so from which country does the spirit Metaxa originate? As in the ghost or the or the alcohol? The alcohol. So <laughs> Metaxa. M E T A X A. Uh, I guess at Mexico. It's not Mexico. I can see where you went with that, though. It was Greece. Ah. Greece, yes. Uh, and now, uh, certainly, uh, last but not least, our winner from the last round, Aaron. <clears throat> a one. A one. Delightful. You're on plus three sport. <laughs> so, your plus three sport is this. In which sport is the Peterson turn a feature? Which sport would you see a Peterson turn? Turning, so I'm going to say cars. <laughs> uh, <laughs> cars isn't a sport, Aaron. <laughs> well, no, the, the field of cars. Uh, I have so like motorsport. Field is not a sport. <laughs> <laughs> You're just going to go oh. with like motor racing, is what you're Yes, going with. yes. Okay. It's not that, it's bobsleigh. Ah. Bob. It's like, you know, I think I think it's supposed to be like one of those ones where it has like the big kind of like over bends, you know, the ones that kind of go like over the bobsleigh. I, That's Peter. I've seen cool runnings. Yes. My, my, well, my guess that Yeah. <laughs> so, um, Aiden, back to you. Six. Six, good roll. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you land on the most general of knowledge. Could be anything at this rate. So, uh, what Japanese term refers to a soy sauce marinade often applied to meat dishes? Do we have any culinary heads on the board tonight? I have a guess. No, it's a hidden scope. <laughs> we weren't allowed to steal his point last time. Exactly, but you can mock him for it if he doesn't get it right afterwards. <laughs> Soy a marinade on a meat. I don't know. Fucking. Uh, it's probably in your accuser. I missed it. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Pass. It's another game you have to play. Uh, the answer was teriyaki. Teriyaki. Ah, oh, yes. Teriyaki. That's what it is. Uh, so hard up there. Uh, James. Yup. All right. Let's go. And roll. Six. Ooh, nice one. One, two, three, four, five, six. You're on plus two science. I'm sorry. I'm gonna get this wrong. I'm gonna get the evil eyes. <laughs> so, uh, your question is for Plus Two Science. Uh, what do the letters SPF stand for in relation to skin care? SPF? SPF. Uh, 
solar protection factor? No. I'll, I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. It's sun protection factor. So you, you did get, you did, you, you got it. So yeah, it was, it was sun protection factor, not solar. And so, Birkbot, it's to you. Five. Five. Good rolls around, lads. Three, four, five. Same again, science. Four, two points. Uh-oh. So, <laughs> so let's see what you get this time. <clears throat> with. No. So, what nationality was the scientist James Jewell after whom the unit of energy was named? French. He was not French, he was English. See, James would have got that, obviously. Yeah, you would have got that. Uh, <laughs> so, Dewey. Uh, four. 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 One, two, three, four. General knowledge. So, your question on, on general knowledge is this. What was the ancient Egyptian paper made from a brass, grassy plant called? Papyrus. Papyrus is the correct answer. So, good one for you. Adam. Two. A two. Okay, so we're on to Bus Tree Music. Um, obviously, Adam is very fond of his music. Am I right in saying? Woodwind. So, <laughs> let's see if you get this right. Reg Dwight is the real name of which musician? Sting. You had the right idea. It was Sir Elton John. Damn it. Yeah, hard luck there. Um, so, Aaron, you're up next. Up to a five. Five. So, that takes you to one, two, three, four, five. You're also on Bus Tree Music. And your question on that subject for three points is the album Hysteria was released by which rock band? Aerosmith? Now, this one I actually do fucking know. Yeah, and you were actually fairly close to the mark. It was Def Leppard. Yeah. yeah. Hard luck there. Hard luck. Uh, but after that initial sparring, it's James that's thrown down in the lead, followed behind by Burkbot. But we start off this next set with Aiden. Three. Three, was it? Okay, yeah. so three. And you're on to a plus two science. And for two points, your question is <clears throat> Which creature that lives in the Galapagos Islands is the only reptile adapted to life in the sea? Channel David Attenborough. <laughs> this fantastic creature has a penis as long as its body. <laughs> <laughs> here we see Aiden, who knows fuck all about Japanese cuisine and French art styles. <laughs> He's the only one left of his tribe. Apparently, this is also Japanese cuisine, so. More Chinese cuisine, fair enough, yeah. Um, so, Aiden, what's your best guess here? Okay. It's, 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 you said it was a reptile, wasn't it? A reptile Star, adapted rep- to life in the sea. Adapted to life in the sea. <sighs> Saltwater crocodile. I don't know. No, it's not, but it is a marine iguana. Oh. Correct answer. Yeah. So, James, oh, you're currently in the lead. Can you. Uh, Extended advantage. Let's see. Three. Three. One, two, three. And you gain two. So good roll. Woo! Uh, Burpa, can you keep up? Six. Six, you can indeed. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh dear. <laughs> One, two, three. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Um, so, Dewey, goes to you. Yep, I get a two. Two, so plus two signs again. And your question on that subject is, what is the literal English meaning of spina bifida? Oh. Bifida. 
thing you're saying. <laughs> Spine curved. Curved spine. Oh, you were close. It's a split spine. Is what the is what the literal translation see, is. That's what us Wexford people call it. I see. So yes. it's the Wexford vernacular of it, so it's fine. That's so good. If you go into the shop, you can ask for an ice cream curve. <laughs> <laughs> no, when, he, when he goes dogging, he doesn't ask him to split his spine, he asks for a spine of <laughs> 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 and then and then just like head tilts all around not understanding what what, what he said uh, so Adam let's get you back in the game it is a six Ooh. six I'll do it one two three four five six a madness square first one oh, of the shit. round <laughs> so uh, to be fair I think I have the best chance of anyone here though for these stones well in this case you might get it right um which one of the reindeer in Spud is inflatable? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> is oh it my Blitzen? God. It's not Blitzen, it's Prancer. <laughs> <laughs> Park <Heart> Lock. <laughs> so, uh, Aaron. Four. Four. One, two, three, four. Just do signs. Very popular today, it seems. And for two points, your question is: Anemia is ca caused by a deficiency of what? Uh, iron. Uh, no, not technically. It's red blood cells. Okay. Red blood cells. Iron will fix that. You can have you can have the correct number of red blood cells, but they could be um, malformed and into sickle yeah. cell. So, yeah, no, I, I give them iron. I, 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 yeah, I was thinking I, I kind of give the a half mark in that, um, because like it one leads into the other. So, I, um, yeah, do you know what? I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you it because again, like red blood cells are a very general answer. So yeah, we'll, we'll give you that one. Um, so uh, again, as it stands, James is well in the lead, and uh, we have Burkbot and A and Aaron following. But Aiden currently in the scrap uh, for plus two science. Let's see where you go, where you land next. Uh, three. Three. One, two, three, and there you go. Um, so, thanks. <laughs> um, you're next. James? Is he alive? Yeah, I'm here. Yep. Yeah. I got a two there. Two. Okay, so that gives you to a plus, plus two sports question. Okay, and here's where I fall down. <laughs> okay, you now you fall down. Uh, okay, here's your question. Who are the current Rugby Union World Cup holders? Yeah, we watched this. I know. <laughs> so the last one was in 2018. New Zealand. Oh, you were so close. It was Australia. Oh, hard luck. Hard luck. Uh, so, Burpa. Two. Two. One, two. And another two. So, you, you, you've escaped the trap there. Good stuff. Um, Dewey, next up to play. I guess a four. One, two, three, four. Exciting. We are into the mystery box again. We all have a mystery box here, lads, don't we? Now, let's see what you get. Play. Well, let's wait for Jonathan. I prefer to know what's been in the box beforehand. Well, you, you might say that, Adam, but uh, if you saw a plus geography, you probably wouldn't want it. So that's that's the only way I can get these uh, get these out, unfortunately. So your question is, plus geography, which European capital city is situated at the confluence of the Danube and Sava rivers. I can be confident saying it's not Dublin. <laughs> it was very confident. <laughs> yes. What a star. Um, Oh, 
I'm going to go with Rome. Rome is not the answer, unfortunately. It's Belgrade. Belgrade is the answer there. Uh, so hard luck. Uh, Adam, currently last. Uh, yay. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a one. A one? Okay. <laughs> That's a, that's a pity, but uh, let's see if you can uh, get a plus two on that with your TV and film knowledge. In which TV series did the character Nori, Nora Batty appear? Oh, that's um, Last of the Summer Wine. Uh, correct answer, Last of the Summer Wine. So plus two well to you. Well done. Yes. So good stuff there. Uh, Aaron? Just a two. Just a two? Oh, fantastic. The mystery box strikes again. <laughs> Everyone loves the mystery box. So, what do we get? Madness Square. Oh, Madness Square. For the Yay. Priest. No. The box is benevolent <laughs> this day. One, two, three. Joint second for Aaron. Well, Lovely. My lead. <laughs> <laughs> My lead. Um, yeah, so there you go. We have a we have a new contenders arriving here to uh, take on James as we go into the home stretch. I suppose best time is any to tell you what you're fighting for tonight in the day of okay. board. It is a delightful metal owl bookmark. Oh, okay. There. Suddenly, I feel less bad about losing. We have to go for second for second place. Uh, but yes, that's your that's your star prize tonight. So, um, uh, let's start off with Aiden, who's currently uh, bringing up the rear. Five. Five. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Uh, <laughs> oh. Uh, look, at, look at you, back where you belong, side by side with me. <laughs> <laughs> As God intended. Um, so, James, you're currently leading. I got one. Got one. So plus two geography. Not one. Um, well, not a disaster in fairness, considering it's a, it, it gets to be quite a scrappy uh, part of the board next. But your question for geography is: Which African country is bordered by Algeria to the west and Libya to the east? Let's see. Didn't the Brits used to own that? Um, uh, the Brits own a lot of it, a lot of Africa, as it turns out. So you should notice. <laughs> Sorry, it's Libya to the east and... Algeria to the west. Algeria to the west. Well, come on, that's not fair. There's no country in between those two. Morocco? <laughs> no, uh, hard luck, no. Morocco was the wrong answer. Uh, it's Tunisia. Uh, you, were, you were in the right ballpark, unfortunately, but uh, hard luck. Um, oh. So, Burpa, can you take a lead with this? No. <laughs> 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 Uh, well, sports. Sports could yeah, be a pretty question. You, you do sports. You, you could get this. Um, so your question is on sports for plus two is. Now how about that? Patrick That's Vieira cool. played Premier League football for Arsenal and which other club? Oh shit! No, not Spurs. It was not Villa. It was Man City. Manchester oh, City. Of course. Yeah, of course it was. Oh, dear. I mean, I've blocked that out of my memory, Jonathan. Of Why course. Why do you have to bring that back up? If you want to win, <laughs> if, you, if you want to win, you have to make sacrifices. All right? I'm just, if you want I'm just to win, you it. need to stop blocking your memory. That, that's the whole point of this game. <laughs> <laughs> but now I'm sad. Now I'm sad. You're meant uh, to be sad. That's why we drink. Exactly. So, uh, speaking of drinking, Dewey, the token alcoholic in the room. One. One. Ah, that's a good roll. That brings you up to the corner beside Aaron. Uh, and now, Adam. Hi, Aaron. Can you leave uh, hello, Adam. Aiden for dust? That is... Two. Can indeed. And you joined the party between Dewey and Aaron. Uh, hey, Tristan. <laughs> hey, Dewey, we're going to add that to the list of your band's words. Okay, thanks. Uh, so, Aaron, um, before Dewey gets uh, more dodgy, 
I'm excited. <laughs> I want to get out of here. I got a six. You certainly did. Yeah, it's a one, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six. Plus um, one. So, this is the end of the parking lot. Don't ask my opinion. Don't ask me to lie. Are lyrics from which 2016 song? Oh, it's familiar. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, didn't uh, think, I, I didn't do it justice now, to be honest. Uh, with my <laughs> Do you want to take another crack at it then? <laughs> Not particularly, Aaron. No, I think I would. <laughs> I would appropriate a lot of cultures doing that. So. Um, Oh, which means it's some other culture. No, no. I'm just going to understand that. <sighs> no, I can't pass. Hard luck. It's from Rag and Bone, man, and it's a song. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And um, so yes, yeah, so I can't. I can't replicate his baritone, so uh, that's why I didn't bother. And um, so, uh, Aiden, again, you are um, uh, first up here. Need to catch up. Hey. Two and again the threesome is reunited with Aiden instead. So um, with that in mind, then James, uh, let's see if you can overtake Aaron. If Aaron gets a six, he's one regardless. That's true. Yeah. So four, four. Good roll. One, two, three, four. So it's the plus one science. So your plus one science is this. What effect do higher temperatures have on nails? On nails? On nails. And nails. fingernails. Fingernails, yeah. Fingernails and toenails. Oh, oh. Make them... I was going to say it was metal of make them bend, but... Mm. Um, can't imagine that would be the same on the human nails. I, I doubt that. Um, I doubt so, that. Yeah. Um, I don't know, make them curlier? Like, uh, no, it would uh, make, 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 them grow, make them grow slower. Go slower. It's the other way around. They grow quicker. Okay. The okay. higher temperature. Yeah, so hard look there. Uh, so, Bert Pop, could, you could steal here. Ooh, five. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Plus one science. Can you out science Nordy? He asks. Like in real life, yes. In this quiz, probably not. I've had something to drink. Fair enough. Let's see if you get this right. The force resulting from acceleration is denoted by which letter? Um, M. The answer is G. Oh, G force. Okay. <laughs> you're thinking like Newton. Yeah, you're thinking of Newton's, yeah. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Uh, Dewey. Next up. A five. Five. One, two, three, four, five. General knowledge. And your general knowledge question is this. What substance is measured in reams? Um. Spell it, because we might have misheard that, John. Sure. R E A M S reams. It's a uh, fabric. It's not fabric. It's paper. Paper. Happy uh, mache. Yeah. <laughs> the thing you chew. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, not everyone chews paper. All right. I know you're vegetarian. And there's not much to eat. <laughs> he gets his. Well, I, I can't way. chew cud. Not everyone switched to a paper-only diet, all right? <laughs> Paper-based diet. <laughs> I just it's write steak on a notebook and eat that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a new diet PETA is advertising. Yes, exactly. Fucking no-crack bastards. Uh, Adam, speaking of, you're, uh, you're up next. Would you believe I rolled a fucking two? I would believe you rolled a fucking two. So, you get a plus two sports. Uh, Nobody wants to check that for me. Force me to re-roll. No, no. Not particularly. No, I think I think we're okay with this one. Um, you get a one so. instead. I take it, so, do we? I take it. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so your first two question is: um, In a medley swimming race, which stroke is performed on the first leg? Ooh. Ooh. Mario, it's time to get the Olympics. 
I've never watched the Olympics. The heart show. Um, I'll have to assume it's either. Uh, is it the butterfly stroke? It is the butterfly stroke. That's Whoa. a great answer. Hey, man knows a few things. So, <laughs> Aaron. Let's see. Does this end the game? It doesn't. A three. It is. Oh, <laughs> One, two, three. It's a history. So it won't get you over the line either, unfortunately. But you still get to everyone else's roles. So, uh, your question is, which 19th century English naturalist and biologist was influenced by his visit to the Galapagos Islands on HMS Beagle? Darwin. It was Darwin, yes. So, you're on game points, Aaron, but again, people can steal, which gets very exciting in a couple of minutes. Uh, I'm I'm going to pull that one up because that was a science question. Yeah, yeah, it, it, we've been possible. through this, Adam. And, yes. and based on this book, it's probably a music question as well. <laughs> it's, it's a film and TV question because of Darwin from the Wild Thornberrys as well. Mm, <laughs> a lot of crossover in this, but actually, it should be just general knowledge to be fair. But anyway, um, so uh, actually, I should, I don't know, for the crack, I should have switched that into the religion category. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, so uh, Aiden. How's the how's the top of the board looking? <laughs> five. Uh, five. That's more like it's one, two, three, four, five. Shit! You I'm going to end this game in last place. <laughs> yeah, we'll, see. we'll see. We'll see. Um. So, Aiden, this is your favorite category. General knowledge. What is the game Pontoon, otherwise known as? Anyone know? <laughs> nope. Little ships. Pontoon. Pontoon. Why is it otherwise known as? Battle shots. So, yeah, I was thinking something like battle ships or something. But I'm going to say checkers or something. Or chess. Uh, no, unfortunately not. It is a card game. And oh. it's blackjack. Oh, oh really? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so hmm. Pontoon was like the, uh, was what the uh, old Yanks used to call ah, it. Ah, Pontoon yeah, cool. is Vince Boone, or 21. Yes. 20, yeah, there you have it, exactly. Um, so, now we get to the main event. James, that's right. your roll. And... Uh, two. <laughs> oh, two! Oh. <laughs> oh dear. So, yes, hard luck. So, you're two. So like I said, your question on that is this. <clears throat> In Roman numerals, which symbol has the highest value? D? It's not D, um, it's M. M is a thousand. So hard luck there. Burkbot, do you have a chance to steal? I've rolled five or three fives already. <laughs> can I get? No, I can't. I get two. Oh, <laughs> wow. Okay. Interesting. So, and your history question is hmm. Nikita Khrushchev died during which decade? Former uh, head of the Soviet Union, Nikita Khrushchev. Ah, okay, thanks. Like, that's just some person's name. Like, that's <laughs> any time in the past, you know, four thousand years. Um, yes. <laughs> he died during which decade? Um, okay, Soviet Union stopped being a thing recently. Um, Thirty years oh, ago. No, oh, look, look at Burkbot getting all political. <laughs> The 90s. Uh, no, he actually died quite. Yeah, I, I like the way you, you did work it out, but unfortunately, he died in 1971. Oh, Ooh. yeah, which is weird considering he was a uh, leader of the USSR in the 60s. So, um, <laughs> I thought you were going to say, which is weird considering he was the USSR in the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> I thought like he could have died in jail. Could have, yeah, he probably did, in fairness. I mean, it is the Soviet Union. And um, so, 
Uh, Dewey, this is for you. Okay. And he can win with a six. He could. One, two, three. Yeah. I get a five. Oh. Five. oh, that's unfortunate. But see, if if I had gotten a six, I would have been called on it anyway. So that yeah, <laughs> so, so he's only lying. Who would have called you but, on it? No, who would do that? I think the oh. British person would have. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! hey don't leave me out of this. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be part of our um, new uh, quiz show we're gonna do on the Madness Channel called Spot the Tan, and we're just support the tan. So, uh, Dewey, this is your plus one TV and film. Chris O'Dowd and Richard Ayoade played central characters in which sitcom first broadcast in 2006? Fuck you, Jonathan. <laughs> he doesn't know. You don't no. know? He doesn't know. No. I should know. He should. Chris O'Dowd and Richard Ayoade. Thing that they're most famous for. Mock the Week. Oof. Oh, Mock the Week, the well-known sitcom. Uh, no, <laughs> it's uh, the IT crowd. <laughs> it's I, I, I have a huge chance to steal it now, guys, but I only rolled a five. <laughs> oh. One, two, might three. Not last. Uh, I always come last, baby. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, Adam, your question is, uh, which museum, established in 1939, stands at 11 West 53rd Street in New York City? Oh, um, Natural History Museum? Oh, it's not. It's the Museum of Modern Art. Fuck. Yeah, hard luck. Hard luck on that. So, as you can see, lads, the board is quite close. Um, it's literally just down to draw and James has first go. So he needs a minimum of a, of a tree to cross a line or get the score question right. So, I'd love it if Aiden rolled a six now. I was about to ask, because Aiden has an outside chance here. From the from the jaws of life itself, Aiden, what is your role? Wait, you skipped me. I did skip you. Apologies. Sorry. <laughs> hey, wow. I wow. saw Aaron, <laughs> Fuck there. Aaron, please, give us a roll. Let's be see. A one. A one. A one. A five. Hey, he's across the line. Thank fuck. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. VAR is not needed now. It's fine. Um, so the LLM bookmark is yours. But we are playing for our consolation prize. So Aiden, <laughs> now we can go to you. Hey. Oh. It's what? six. Oh, one. <laughs> well, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, your question is, uh, Aiden. Jerry Hallowell was known as which spice? <laughs> is it turmeric spice? <laughs> Old spice. <laughs> yeah. I don't fucking know the. Pussy castells, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> 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 no, that's a Tom McKitney. Yeah. Her name's so, Jerry, is it? Jerry with an eye, I bet. Yes. <laughs> no, Jerry, Jerry Adams. Jerry. <laughs> I love when Jerry Adams in the Spice Girls. He was so good as a uh, <laughs> as Republican Spice, uh, as Nordy Spice. Nordy Spice. I love. Yeah, he was great. Um, so Aiden, you're not going to give us a guess, Aiden? No. Oh, gonna... oh no, it's posh spice. What's the other one's called? Rich spice. I don't know. <laughs> spoiled spice. I don't know. Okay, the well, spoiled spice is the answer. It was ginger spice. Ginger spice. Yeah. Ginger spice. Oh, the yes. hot one. Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> and she's now married to an F1 team owner, which is such a weird conference of events. Um. So, uh, James. Yep. It goes to you. Four. Four. You are cross line. One, two, three. <laughs> so, James, you pick up your first bobcat of this, and it is a um, delightfully um, Gothic iron-on patch of a uh, mm -hmm. of this happy little fellow here. 
can, can you just goes. hold it so it's not thing? I, I think I recognize it. Just get this shimmer off it. Okay. Uh, no, no, sorry, it's not. I thought it was Reaper from Overwatch. Uh, no, no, I don't think it is. Um, Copy out. But anyway, yeah, that's it. That's your. That's an iron on patch you can put onto your. You can to iron. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, wow! Oh, deep cut there. Deep <laughs> cut there. Uh, so, uh, Aaron, you're on a roll here. Roll. Uh, it looks like you, you seem to have a read of the boards here. So, um, would you like to, to send us on to another adventure? Give me the list again. Certainly. You have FTL, Beneath the Steel Sky, Yesterday, Shadow of the Comet, Snatcher, Police Knots, Game Dev Tycoon, or Ace Attorney. Go for Yesterday. Yes! Finally, a board I'll know. <laughs> 